probably the biggest problem that people have when they want to go through and increase pricing is they think, oh, well, okay, well, if I just increase it from, you know, 500 to 850 bucks a month, what if they say no, they're going to be upset. You know, I had a client yesterday who came to me and he said exactly that. He's like, okay, I got, I'm going to go from 500 to 850 a month, right? But I'm worried they're going to leave. I'm worried they're going to quit. And I told him about this story where I had a client just a couple of days ago where she went to one of her you know, clients and said, I'm gonna charge you 2,500 bucks. The guy said, 2,500 bucks? You know, I, I, I have never paid more than 400 bucks for my taxes. And she was charging him for business tax preparation and the cleanup for 2019. You know, this is going crazy right now, obviously with tax season. And the guy said, I've never paid more than 400 bucks. Hey, you gonna charge me 2,500 bucks? It's crazy. And I said, you shouldn't have charged him 2,500 bucks. You should, you should have charged him 4,500 bucks. But the problem is, the biggest problem is, I'm gonna show you exactly what I showed my people. The biggest problem is, is that if you're doing a price increase for a service and that's how it's perceived, that is not going to be as interesting to them as a brand new opportunity, something that's a new opportunity, right? So if I tell you you're going to go from $400 to $2,500 for tax preparation, not good. If I tell you you're going to go from $400 to $4,500 for tax planning where you're going to save X amount, I think she estimated she could save $19,000, that's great. And so this client that I had where he said, oh, I'm afraid to go from 500 bucks a month to 850. Uh, what, what do I do? How do I make it work? I said, you don't need to go to 850. You need to go to a bigger price than that, okay? So the very first thing that I said is you need to think, first off, don't think about, he wanted to go from 500 to 850 because they were gonna do, I think 850,000 in sales when they first signed up, they were doing 500K. So we typically price $500 a month for every 500,000 in annual sales per tier of service. And I said, well, you shouldn't price him based on what his revenue is today. You should price him based on what he's projecting to do this year. He did 850 last year. He's probably going to do a million, million two. So you should price based on the projection, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing is figure out how much you can save him in taxes. Can you save him a certain amount in taxes? Let's lump that in to increase the price. Third thing is what else can you do to make this guy money, okay? There was an, another example I had yesterday where somebody thought they could help somebody collect an extra $120,000 of accounts receivable. Okay, so in this example, you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. If you want to pause your screen here and read this, you should because it's a really helpful example, really, really, really helpful example. And you can see Andrew had a client coming in today for tax preparation appointments. This client's currently signed up for monthly accounting. In 2018, they had 500K in sales and they're currently paying 500 a month. However, their sales for 2019 were 850K. I wanna increase to 850 a month, but how do I do it and not get them to quit based on that pricing? And I'm gonna show you exactly what I told them because this was so powerful. I said price based on the projections. I said, assume they're gonna make, let's assume they're gonna make a million this year. Then we charge them a thousand a month for the monthly accounting. Let's assume you could save them 3,500 bucks on taxes. I think you said you could save them 14K. 2,000 for the business return, 1,000 for the individual return. Let's say quarterly, say we don't charge him anything, but he gets quarterly estimated payments. And let's say we throw on the financial plan as well. He's a financial advisor. Um, so that's 18,500. So instead of charging, you know, just another six grand, 850, we go to 18,500, which is 355 a week or, 1500 a month. Now, here you go. I'm going to show you this here as well. This is really powerful, okay? When you go through this, and this is the key to understand, okay? This is the key. When you look at this, monthly accounting, this is what the client sees because we don't want the client to see all those prices. Monthly accounting, tax planning, business return, individual return, quarterly financial plan, 349 a week. That's it. Now, in the old plan, okay? In the old plan, the client really was paying 500 bucks a month. I'm going to come in here. 500 bucks a month times 12 months at $6,000 a year the client was paying. Now they're paying 18,000, but we're saving them 14,500, so they're paying 3600 net. Previously they were paying 6,000 net, and that didn't even include the tax return. Now they're paying 3600 net. So what I love about what we do is, okay, how do you charge the client more? Don't just go for the price increase for the same service because that's an expense. It's all you're just trying to take more from me. You're just trying to get more of an expense. Make it a new opportunity. How do you provide some more freaking value? Anytime I try to sit down with somebody, I try to figure out how I can provide value. How, I try to make the person more money while I'm just sitting on the phone with information than whatever I would charge them for whatever I'm offering them. How can you do that? Well, I can't do that. I had a client yesterday who said, Andrew, the client wants me to do accounts receivable. I don't want to be on the phone calling accounts receivable. I said, don't, but help them for crying out loud. Tell them who's the first person you can think of that you need to collect money from for accounts receivable. Okay, well, uh, you know, Jimmy Richardson. Okay, Jimmy Richardson. Call him right now. Call him right now. Tell your client. If you're the CFO and you're sitting there and your client has clients, and he said, well, I kind of, you know, she said that she's scared. She wants somebody else to call because she doesn't want to have that kind of a relationship with the client. I said, what? So she wants to have a, a relationship with the client where the client abuses her and pays her months late for accounts receivable for work she already did? That's just loser thinking, okay? So if you want to be an advisor, right? You don't just want to be somebody doing the compliance work. You want to be an advisor where people look up to you, right? People take your advice. 
you don't just want to have a measly little whenever i see 10 percent, 20 percent price increase who cares nobody i don't care you don't care nobody cares big price increase you should price change often and you should make big price changes the worst thing you can do is small price changes for the same service people are just going to look at it as a cost and they're going to turn the other way so hope that this was helpful if you guys want to learn more about how to do this use these exact kind of templates walk through this process have myself and my team help you estimate your jobs and your clients for everybody that's coming through especially right now during tax season it is an insanity out there for all the accounting services and the cleanup the tax planning the tax preparation i'm going to link an application below this video we'll go through and show you all the stuff i just showed you there and more all the ways that we calculate all this all the templates we'll use a little bit about how it works to work with us we do a coaching program takes place over the course of a year i will shoot this video off and i will see you on the other side